personally, whereas I spent March 2020 hiding under my kitchen table, it no longer crosses my mind that I'm going to die if I get COVID. The problem is there is a whole other category of illness from COVID under the broad category of long COVID, which is either you remain, you have symptoms for a very long period of time, and for some people, maybe forever, and a body of literature that's quite convincing that says each case of COVID elevates your long-term risk of a whole bunch of stuff you don't want to have. Heart attack, stroke, diabetes, autoimmune disease, uh, cognitive decline. Um, because people see that the acute risk is lower, they've made behavioral decisions about how careful to be about COVID and whether to get vaccinated again uh, based on, oh, my risk of getting hospitalized and being in the ICU and dying is very, very low. And I don't think that they are appropriately weighing a low but certainly non-zero risk of these co these longer term consequences very hard communication challenge to get that through to people because quite naturally they look at the decrease in the acute threat and they say oh look COVID's pretty much gone away i can go back to my normal life 